So, you've just downloaded the world's greatest platformer. Congratulations! Now what? In this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to set up the SA Mod Manager for Sonic Adventure 2. Although the mod loader is for both adventure games, this video will not be covering SA1. Before we get started, I won't be explaining every mod listed in the video, so please visit the mod pages and give them a nice read so you know what they all do. First, you need to head over to this website here and download the SA Mod Manager. Drag the file anywhere you want and open it. In my case, I'm going to put this in my game's installation folder, usually located in your C drive, program files, Steam, Common, Sonic Convention 2. Open up the program and choose from any of these supported languages. The manager will then briefly introduce itself, as it recently got upgraded to be more like Hedge Mod Manager for the Hedgehog Engine games. Click OK and now we can move on to setting up the game. If the mod manager doesn't know where your copy is installed, head over to the manager config menu, click the folder icon and manually locate your copy of the game. Okay, so now we've got the loader installed, what mods do we need for the definitive version of the game? To start off, we're going to head over to my boy Shadatix page and grab the following mods here. SA2 Render Fix, SA2 Volume Controls, Input Controls, Minimal Pickup Fix, and a bonus one, Enhanced Chowl. After this, we're going to head to Speedsys page and download the following. Menu Overhaul, HD GUI, and Hedge Panel. Next, go to Sora's page and download the following, Sonic New Tricks. This mod's gonna allow you to remap the action buttons so you don't wear out your B button just like that moisturizer on your desk. And finally, SA2 Error Message Fixes. After that, we're gonna head over to this page here and download No Battle. This will disable the battle branding and menus and make it go from this to this. Now for the quality of life mods. Reworked After Images, Better Radar, Character Select Plus, Smoother Collisions by my boy Hoppy, and last but not least, the SA2 animation and physics of these things. Before we move on to the next section, I want to quickly run through the mod configurations for these mods. For each respective mod, copy these exact settings. You can access this menu by selecting the mod and clicking configure mod, or if you're quirky like me, use the right click context menu. This section is self-explanatory, so feel free to hover over these codes and see what each one does. Click over here and choose native and change the window type to either borderless full screen or full screen. I like to go with borderless full screen personally as I like to get into the game as fast as possible. If you have an issue with the game running too fast, make sure the refresh rate is set to 60. Now for options. If you want to get into the game fast and solve SA2's infamous crashes, check this option over here. It's going to skip the Sega and Sonic Team branding images seen when booting the game. As for the patches, make sure all of these are checked as these allow for mods to take advantage of the mod loader's capabilities and to also fix the PC port issues. If you want to switch between profiles for different mod setups, the new mod manager offers a solution to this desire. This is especially useful if you use gameplay overhauls or have setups for vanilla SA2 and modded SA2. If you're tired of checking and unchecking all your mods to do all of this, head over to this menu over here and click this profile icon here. In this pop-up, you can create, import, and rename or even duplicate your setups. Don't forget to click save and you're done. Now you can play the best version of the game without worrying about messing up the game. Thank you so much for watching and happy playing. Nah, we well ain't done here, bro. Setting up Modern Asset 2 isn't difficult, so don't worry about it. All you gotta do is go into the Manager Config menu, click here, and right-click to duplicate the profile and rename it. We're gonna name this bad boy Modern Asset 2 V3 Demo. Head over to the mods list and disable the following, Smooth Collisions and HDG UI, as Modern Asset 2 includes its own UI and updated version of Smooth Collisions, and make sure to slap our mods at the bottom of the list. Copy these settings for the mod config shown on screen, and we're done. That's it. That is everything you need to know about the mod loader. Thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate it. I know it's been a long time coming, but listen, bro, man finally landed. If you're learning on the edge with trying out Modern Nessie 2, feel free to check this video out over here so you know what it's about. If you don't like it, that's absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. I've got another mod coming in the works for people who love the original game, fix the stuff. It, yeah, it does a lot of stuff. Anyways, catch you in the next one, guys. Take care. How the heck did I end up here?